What's up everybody, I'm Von Ruth Realman of Gaming, and welcome back to Wanna Don't Wanna, where I play horror games and scare the crap out of myself for your entertainment. I'm going to be continuing with Oxenfree. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. It's cold, that's why. The sun is kinda out, huh. but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, why? Why am I here right now with you? Because you said, I studied enough for my French test. I want to go to the beach. Huh. Which I thought was very unlike you, by the way. You made the right choice, Alex. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. Gross. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kinda ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. Cool, we're going to the beach with our dead brother. Awesome. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. Oh no. So awkward. Uh, <laughs> Do you? Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry. Did I forget something? I'm bad with. Uh, forget it. It's all right. Uh, mm. I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it. I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know <laughs> what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting, I'm entertaining. <laughs> thank you. So... I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too. Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here, what's the story? I want the news, I want the Alex first edition. Hmm. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're... you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. No. Now look, I know this was supposed to be our this day. This is so sad. I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her? Really? Okay, here's, okay, Tuesday night, 
She dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday. So, that's what I see in her. That sounds awful. Like, I think I've had stress dreams more relaxing than that. <laughs> I guess you had to be there then. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. As long as she, she makes, makes you happy. happy. If she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. Nope, oh, it's I mine. One. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. That was so sad. Oh my god, phone. Maybe you should stop going off, please. Alex? Are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was wow. about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Oh, Nona, shit. I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... Uh, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Yes. How... how many of you are there? How... how many of you are there? Okay. Found another anomaly. Am I supposed to go back to the tower or hey, to what's her face's why house? Why aren't you at the tower? Ah. This one got a little antsy. Of course he did. Stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Any I guess the radio will open this somehow. Hopefully. Give it a whirl. But anyways, yes, we did it. We got the thing to open the gate. It's a new radio. We think that's how it works anyways. Ah, uh, cool. How have, um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I gonna have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave. I think Let's put it that she way. definitely said the yeah, frequency, don't but I don't remember what it is. A joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you gonna- There we go. We got it. Cool. Let's go. Wow. Neat. Okay. So we are moving right along. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. True. Well, maybe Clarissa is somewhere around here. Oh. Oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. Of there course no it is. Oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It won't help. 
Try the radio. That's creepy. Alright, radio's not gonna help. Let's see if we can get in the house. You can always, like, use... Lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. There's so many more frequencies to go through now. Basically, I know when to stop when my controller starts vibrating. In case you were wondering. We definitely... That is a nifty gizmo. It is. It's pretty cool. Why are there lights on? Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you I don't even know where the kitchen is. Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking, and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something, and hope that it helps. Why did Man, Clarissa even come? Books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics... And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Shut That's the fuck insight. up, Clarissa. I'm well, not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Fuck Ugh. you. Ugh. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Hmm. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. Yep. My guess is paranoid. Yep. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. Well, we can't get in the chest, so we might as well go downstairs. Where is the key to the boat? Why? Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for her job. Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Hmm. Uh, maybe. I doubt it. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Okay. Does she not keep a key to her boat? <sighs> it's been disconnected. Of course it has. Bummer. Nobody's on this island. Why would there be a phone? Yeah, 
Maybe this will do something up here. So many frequencies now. All right, there's nothing in this house. Nothing useful at all. Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better get- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Where's Ren? Oh, this There's is weird. something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. No, let's- find anything useful not yet but you know the night is young so think we're really about to make it out of here i have my doubts i'll be honest oh i don't yeah, really care about this should, conversation just can we talk about something like seriously why didn't you let me go with you to main street did i do something oh my god bad? i just don't get it okay i'm sorry i just thought you needed a breather i mean Seriously, an hour earlier, you were, like, possessed and freaking out. Yeah. Okay, that is true, I guess, but still, it was annoying. Can we not talk about this bullshit? Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. Cool, what's 29, the combination? 18... 54. Uh, 29, cool. 18, 54. I'm not going to have to remember it, probably, but I'm still going to write it down anyway. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Cool. That's a little weird that the basement's only entrance is outside and not through the house itself. Okay, Are let's... you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I yeah. don't give two shits We're about Clarissa. soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Clarissa can go fuck herself. At this point. Twenty-nine, eighteen, fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and... Those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Uh, she must have figured it out that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a okay. possibility. Is this ah the boat keys? Got them. Yay! Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that. Popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're. No! Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused. Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. None of them are okay. Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. There you are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. 
This will be the final part of your training, Alex. What training? All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What did you signed up for this, Alexandra? No, no, we didn't. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. Oh, no. So please, I cannot bear your excuses. I wish I hadn't tuned into that stupid thing, okay? If I knew what it was gonna do, do you... Do you really think I would have even brought this radio? Shh. It's okay. Everything will be fine. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor. What is it with you guys and all the, the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So... Radiation. Ten. Nine. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Oh, okay. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... we're I not... spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Why? Eight. Seven. Six. Seven, I can't. I can't. Four, three. Two. One. Uh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. God, I hate you so much. Jonas, come on. Snap out of it. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Bring him back. Right now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> What's done is done, as they say. Oh God. It's time for the bonus round, Alex. So stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. The, the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to... Oh god. Us ...many years ago and, well, only one survived. Oh god. In the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorant. Okay, if we- if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem gracious, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. Oh no. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. You, you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some some accident we never had our time it was ripped from us we nothing to do with us though conception flag to its demise over and over and over again when our vessel dashed on the rocks we had until dawn and so are you we would spend our time wisely and we thank you for your good service <sighs> so i'm kind of screwed Glad we know what to do with these tape players. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> 
Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? No. Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game. Pretty please. Fuck you. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? You want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. Yeah. Okay. Right? Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh... A good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. She wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. Can you and all Maggie stop talking, has please? Film about military stuff in her basement, so maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those. You're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Why are we going this way? Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I've been recording this for a really long time. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button below me and leave any comments with tips or feedback or basically anything you want to tell me. Subscribe to Real Women of Gaming for more Let's Plays from me, Crimson Pleasure, Val, Samuel, and other members of the Real Women of Gaming staff. And as always, I will catch you next time. Bye!